Hey guys, welcome to this episode. It's, it's an episode that I'm incredibly proud of as we speak to a dear friend of mine, Joe Carty. Joe is an amazing mom. She is also in recovery as I am. I've known her for about 15 years and she's just done an insane open water swim that was changed to a harbor swim because the conditions were so severe. We chat about recovery, building a family, building a life and surviving and it's something that I think you will all benefit from hearing. It's an inspirational story and Joe is a lady that inspires me every single day. She was one of our first Emmett victims, uh, I mean athletes, and uh, we're producing the show today for the Emmett Media Podcast, the Emmett Gyms Podcast, and my show, The Nicholas Single Experience, just because it's that important. So enjoy. I'm going to go straight into the video with a little bit of banter at the beginning, and I'm doing that because everything that we discuss is actually valuable, and you can take something away from it. So welcome to Coffee and conversations with champions, ordinary people doing extraordinary things and inspiring the rest of us to understand and believe that we too can build lives that are extraordinary. I mean, how cool is this, guys? I get to do this for a living. Man, thank you. Thanks for being part of this. I love you all. Enjoy the episode. Oos. I mean, how's that view? It, it's looking absolutely awesome. So, Joe, uh, it's awesome to. Uh, we will just. We're just going to. I'll do a quick intro, and we're going to chat um, about the swim. So, like when you see me Wonderful. looking off camera, that's me looking at you. So, yeah, I mean, it's quite very, very cool. So, and you know, for me, really, what what the intention about these uh, podcasts and these shows are about is really just. You know, finding ordinary people that are doing, and not to call you ordinary by any stretch of the imagination, but ordinary people that are doing the extraordinary, which you truly are. I mean, you're doing absolutely extraordinary things. And, um, dude, it's like really, really cool. I mean, from the game reserve to, you know, Manus to training with us early morning and to the this ridiculous, the, this ridiculous, insane starting point of a swim and uh you know we, we I've, I've had one other amazing person on here who has done some incredible swims and i think this one was just mad so joe welcome to the podcast it's awesome to have you on uh very very cool we're doing two shows here so we're recording this for the nicholas engel experience which is my personal podcast where we focus on the sort of just ordinary individuals doing awesome things but um also the 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 Emmett Gyms podcast because you have been training with us for a long yeah. long time hey do from the time we yeah. started in Houghton and um yeah, you know a long time ago <laughs> yep absolutely so I think maybe just um you know it's kind of cool to be doing so we're focusing on you as the person uh, we're going to chat about the swim you know chat a little bit about uh recovery building an amazing life and you got stuck with me on the drive down to Cape Town when I moved down there in 2009. And I think you've been stuck with me for about, what, 15 years, 16 years, huh? And, yeah, uh, 15 years this year, Nick. <laughs> 15 years or 16 years this year for you? Yeah, 15 for me this year. Flippin' yep. epic, dude. Epic. All right, so Joe, give us a little bit of a rundown on who you are. Give us your Ben Duffy, your professional intro professional intro don't know about that but yeah i'm i'm currently in hermanus my family and i moved down here my husband and my beautiful two children in 2020 so been here almost three years already i can't believe how the time has flown mm -hmm. we were in the medicwe game reserve for six years so it was quite a quite a change of scenery from the bush to i mean the um, amazing ocean there's no ways i could have gone back to the city after having been in the bush Joburg doesn't have that many happy memories for me. And my mm. mom is down here in Arnis. So it just seemed like the right move at the right time. Getting the kids into school down here. They're absolutely thriving. So it's been a tough three years. I'm not going to lie. 
um, but it's been good. And it is really only in the last couple of months that I've been really focusing on me and saying, you know, I've got to put myself first. Otherwise, I can't be there for my family, you know. And that's how the swimming kind of came about. I mean, a very dear friend of mine, Sophie, introduced me to the cold water. I mean, for years, I would come down to Amanas and not go anywhere near the sea because Let's be honest, the water temperature here is, it's not Durban. <laughs> it's not like yeah. 18 degrees all the time. When it's 18 degrees, we love it. And yeah, in November, ooh, not last year. So what year? I'm getting so confused with the years. November, mm -hmm. oh, 18 months ago, I started swimming with Sophie. And there's a group of us that come down. When I say swimming, I use that term very lightly. We come down to the beautiful marine pool and have a dip off dropping the kids at school and more of a therapy session and then yeah at about on about the 27th of march i decided i wanted to <laughs> step this up and swim and uh the addict i am decided it would be a great idea to sign up for a two and a half to swim on the 30th of april yeah with very little training <laughs> so in hindsight it probably wasn't a very good idea but i did it i finished it and in, even in the last week since the swim I've managed a couple of longer swims, like 1.2, 1.3 Ks, and I really feel that much stronger for it, you know? In terms of that saying, I hadn't spent much time in the water. As you mentioned, I've been training twice a week with you and your fabulous team. So in yep. terms of fitness and strength, you know, and just, I'm seeing muscles where I haven't had muscles, like since long before my <laughs> babies were born, you know? <laughs> so I'm like, oh, yeah, you know? So, and it's just that energy. Like the energy that mm. comes with that getting up in the morning. I mean, I'm not a morning person by any stretch of the imagination, but being fit again, and well, I'm like a long way from fit, mm. but just the level I've got to already, it's just changed everything in my life. I'm calmer with the kids. I get up in the mornings early. I mean, I'm up before like even this morning. I'm like, it's Sunday. Why am I awake at five o'clock? You know? <laughs> And so just the shift over the last yeah. couple of months has just been, it's been amazing. It's just changed. Even my husband was like, I can't believe it, you know, it's a completely different person. So, and it is, it really is the first time since, probably since before I got married. And I mean, Nick, you trained me, <laughs> got yep. me into my wedding dress as well. Yep. <laughs> and what was that? 12 years ago now, yep. I think. Okay, sure. Um, I, I very, I battled to put myself first. Mm. You know, I really do. And I think this has just helped me make that shift that if I'm not looking after myself, I can't be looking after anyone else, you know? Yeah. And with two young kids, I've got to be healthy for them. I've got so, to be there for them. You know? to, tell, tell me about that shift. What, what, what brought on the shift? Uh, Nick, I'm not, I can't really pinpoint. I literally woke up one day and decided, I need to do this, you know. I think it's obviously yeah. been building for a while. I mean, with the cold water swims, I mean, that feeling that you get after being in the cold water. And I mean, our morning mm. swims are not normally long. They're like 15, 20 minutes, you know. I had never swam in a wetsuit. Also, I mean, I decided on the mm -hmm. 27th of March, I'm going to do this ocean. I had to like, thank goodness, a very dear friend of mine is similar size to me. And he left mm -hmm. me his wetsuit. Because I couldn't have done But I mean, the cold water, I mean, you, you just... All the benefits of that, it's like a high. I, there you go, addict to me again, searching the next high. But it's it's just such a, it's so yeah. It's a great I it's a great say. high. You know that's the it's thing. It's a 100%. great high. You know, it's, it's no, there's no like negative side of it. You know, it's yeah. the, it's getting and you get out and it's just it's just the most amazing feeling. And it, as I say, it's not normally long swim. So now when I'm swimming longer. I'm getting even more benefits of being in the cold for longer. You know, it's that, I don't know. I can't even just describe it. And now I've got goggles. I can see everything under the water as well. So that's like, <laughs> is it, it's is a, that, whole new, uh, a whole new Is world, that a good or know? bad thing? <laughs> I, well, I don't know. In the marine pool, it's a good thing. In the open yeah. water, I'm not too sure. Oh, here comes I mean, the sun. <laughs> okay. Yeah, so you, you've got the marine pool behind you now, right? That, that's where you that's started. That's correct, yeah. 
this yeah, this is the tidal pool. This is the marine mm. tidal pool. It's actually quite high tide now. Yeah. I am planning on I am planning on jumping in when we finish. So. <laughs> it's so cool. Okay. okay. Sure. That's run. amazing. Yeah. Right. Yeah, if we just go back and talk about that, that switch where you woke up one morning, you decided, right, it's time, that's it, I'm yeah. done. Obviously, I think it, 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 it's multiple things that build up to a point. Yeah. So I think no, talking okay. about, oh, yeah. sorry, go for it. Yeah, okay. Uh, you're saying, you know, multiple things are building up to, to a point. It isn't really, and I haven't found that for me, that it's just one thing, right? That's the straw. No. You know, it, it's yeah. multiple straws. And, you know, what was the, what sort of hit your head that made you decide, okay, I'm worth it. I need to look after myself. I think like, I mean, for years I've known it, you know, like, I mean, mm. when I cleaned up then, it was like, okay, great. This is, this is it. I need my life back, you know? And yep. for me, I think this is when I say I woke up one morning, it just happened. It's been building for a while. I have been over the last couple of years. I've been doing six months. I do a, a, a seven day fast, a guided fast. Right. Another dear friend of mine, Sandy, you know, so that's been like little elements of, you know, I need to start taking better care of myself. I need to start looking long term at my health. I'm not getting any younger. <laughs> let's be honest. So I think it's been like all little pieces of the puzzle coming together, you know, and it's been, I need to look after my guys. I am obsessed with essential oils. There's an oil for everything. So that, okay. that's talk for another day. But like, yeah, I've yeah. really been looking, not only for me, but also for my children's health and wellness, you know, and I've mm. seen it moving from the bush, coming down here. They weren't exposed to a lot of germs up there. And in light of what's happened the last three years, my kids, the last couple of years have been getting sick quite often and I, right. so was I. I mean, I was sick all the time and in fact, a couple of months ago, I was having every night severe panic attacks. It was like every time I lay down in bed and I was like, I've got to shift something. Mm -hmm. I, this is mm -hmm. no way for me to be living, you know. I need to do something that it's not just a one-off or four, so it's not, it needs to actually be part of my daily life, you know. It needs to be something that I can sustain. Right. I don't know how I'm going to do that the next couple of months because I've started a crazy job, but it's good. Yeah. You're going to make it work. You're going to make uh, it work. Exactly. You know? You've but been it making is, it work for 15 years. You know, that's the thing. Yeah. 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 So it is, I have to, I mean, I need to, I'm looking at things more holistically now as opposed to, okay, I just need, need to eat better or I need to mm. sleep better or I need to exit. Like if one of those pieces are not there, you know, if I'm like, if I don't sleep well at night, in fact, the night before my swim, I didn't sleep at all. My daughter was sick as a dog. Right. And I was like, I actually lay there going, oh my goodness, I'm being punished for something. Why? <laughs> so I was exhausted when I went into the swim last Sunday. Yeah. But I was just like, it's all part of the process, you know? And I think a big shift for me, and my husband has been instrumental in this, is that I often lose sight of how much I've got to be grateful for. Mm -hmm. I mean, we live in this beautiful place. We have the two most amazing children. I obsess about money. I obsess about, oh, the house is a mess. And like, mm -hmm. you know, in the greater scheme of things, those are not uh, like not material, but the thing is, so much to be grateful for. And just focusing on the positive, I think that was also part of the whole shift. You know, it's like, I'm here, and my husband calls it, in fact, came from my cousin, the Carty four ball. I mean, putting yeah. it in golf terms, my husband will understand it, you know. And first and foremost, I need to be here for my husband and for my children, you yeah. know. And I can't do that if I'm not well or if I'm lying, having panic attacks in bed every night, you know, because I'm so worried about everything and was this the right move? Mm -hmm. And instead of just going, again, we go back just for today, like, just for today, everything is okay, you know? 100%. So just for today, we are blessed. Kids are like, when I say they've been sick, they've been snotty and coffee and, yeah. you know, like we haven't had to deal with major illnesses with them, you know? And it's just making the most of every day. And I think somewhere in the last three years, I lost sight of that. You know, I came, right. became so fixated on all the negative things going around, uh, you know, and just like, instead of going, wait, hold on a second. And as I said, my husband, he's very much like, you know, just for today, as long as he's on the golf course. Just yeah, just today, for today. You know? <laughs> but it is, it's just, and 
I mean, it, it's yeah, it's hard to it's hard to explain, but all those things feeding into each other is I need to be the best mom for my kids. And like, yeah. I mean, I still yell at them all the time, but the shift that's happened over the last couple of months, I got to a stage sometime last year where I, and, to, and towards the beginning of this year, where I was just crying for no reason. My skin, I had, the, mm -hmm. that was, I think also a catalyst in this was I had the most terrible rash drips on my skin. I went to every dermatologist, every, everything. Like they all told me I'm allergic to everything. And like something in told, inside me told me, no, this is something wrong with my body. This is something wrong with my stress levels, with everything, right. you know, and, and it was showing my skin. Like uh, products that I would one day not be allergic to, I don't know, shampoo or whatever it is. And mm -hmm. the next day just hives. Hive. So, like for me, it's been all these things that, like, if I can't fix what's happening inside my body, and a big part of that is what's happening inside my mind. And I right. think that's a big thing that I've worked through over the last couple of years is my skin only breaks. The one doctor thought I had scabies. <laughs> that's how bad my skin was. Like, sure. okay. I didn't have scabies. But I mean, it yeah. was emotionally, I was just going completely off the rails. I mean, I didn't pick up, I didn't use, I didn't think mm -hmm. of it. But again, the emotional side of it was just like, I wasn't coping. I was just flying off at anything, you know, and it's just, that's not how I want to live my life, you know. And for yeah. me, the, the, the indicator was my skin, this, you know, and touch wood. Every now and again, I'll have a break out. But I mean, I was literally, I mean, I was scratching myself raw, my wrists, mm -hmm. my face. And I was like, this is not normal. There's, there's something, my body's telling me something here, you know. And so I think like, yeah, as I say, I woke up and decided this one was a great idea. It's been all these little things over the last, mm. probably since the kids were born, you know, because I've been right. so involved in their lives and making sure, well, I make sure they're okay. I, I convince myself every day I'm breaking my children, just by the way. <laughs> like, I'm like, I'm screwing up this little thing all the time. But I can't be, if I'm not the best me, I can't be mm, the best mm. mom or best, best wife or best daughter or best sister or whatever, or best friend, you know. And mm. and I have been very lucky down here with friends who have helped me through this process. You know, like I mentioned Sophie, but there's just, I have such a strong network around me, which I think even in the bush, I didn't have that, you know. Mm. So maybe this part of my recovery and my process has been aided by having that additional support structure around me as well. Right. My mom's down here, you know, I've got a great group of friends, you know? And so, I mean, I think, I mean, you know, with recovery, it kind of does this, you know? And like I think, life, you know, absolutely. Like life, you know, yeah. like life, you know? So yeah, you know, so I'm very it, blessed to be where I am. Sure. You know, if we talk about that move and I mean, I just remember like you were loving the game reserve, you were up there and you guys resigned with a view of moving to the coast and what happened yeah. the next week? <laughs> yeah, well, it was, I think it was, hey. yeah, we resigned the end of January and then, yeah, then we went into lockdown. Yeah, yeah. And we actually hey. got stuck up in the game reserve. Yeah, we got yeah. stuck there. Worst place, worst place to get stuck because we were like, had to go on mandatory game drives and stuff. Actually, we had a ball in mm. lockdown. We only left at the end of July. So we had a good yeah. couple of months, which was also great family time because towards the end of our um, time up there, everything was mm. just so busy and chaotic and we didn't really get to enjoy the bush. Right. So having that time there, it was great family time, you know. And yeah, when we moved, we moved down chaotic time. We hadn't left the bush. So when we arrived at the first petrol station to get steers, I walked in there and I was like, temperature sanitizer mask. I burst into tears. I was like, why yeah. am I doing this to my family, you know? And so I think a lot of what I've gone through over the last couple of years as well is like, what have we just gone through, you know? So emotionally, it's taken a huge toll on me. Mm. And it's hard. Like, it's hard to admit, like, shit, I didn't cope with that at all, you know? I didn't handle the fact that the first time my kids went to a proper school, they were in masks. They didn't yeah. like, they didn't know any different, you know, but for me, I was like, I look at my pictures now and I'm like, oh, why did we leave? You know? So it was hard and we had nothing lined up when we got down here. Mm. Absolutely nothing. So we very, very lucky that my mom, we've moved into my mom's house and we have 
her supporting us every step of the way through this process because I mean, you know me, I've been independent, I've been living on my own the last, yeah. all of my recovery. It's only since we moved down here that mm. all of a sudden the dynamic, the family dynamic has shifted again. And it really is, I think also, as part of this leading up to the swim, things are settling. James has got a fabulous job now. I've just started work. So we're getting back to a, a new mm. normal, if I can yeah. call it. How, how, yeah. was that, how was that letting people help you? How was it you know, asking for? I, no, because that, that is such a hard thing for people to actually to ask for help, uh, and when yeah. people offer help, to to take it. And people want to do that lovingly for us. You know, those we, when we have special people in our lives, they really want to do that lovingly and caringly, in in the mo from the best possible place. But it's very tough for us to take that on. It is hard, Nick. Like, I'm not going to lie. My mom, I mean, she's always mm. been there for us over the years, whatever. But to have this shift, it's almost like a complete regression. But it's more it, like when it, it, it's financially, and obviously, mm. a house to live in has been financial, like fantastic, you know, and that's been a huge help. But I mean, to shift back into that, oh my goodness, I'm dependent on somebody again, it's been a hard shift. It but really I mean, it, is it really like, regression? It's not regression, is it? I mean, it's not regression. It, it, I it's a, a it's part route. of the progress. Yeah, you know. Yeah, but that's it has it. been a difficult pill for me to swallow. I'm not. Yeah, I'm okay. not going to lie, and that's why mm. I think also with these shifts taking place with James' work, my work, you know, mm. I mean, I must say my son is not taking it very well at all. Mommy going to work because the last time I actually went to proper office was the day I went on maternity leave with him. Yeah. So he's sure. only known mommy to be working in an office from home or to be up at the lodge on the same property. Yeah. So he is not taking too kindly. My daughter, I mean, you know, my daughter, no flies <laughs> on her. She's just taking it as it comes. My yeah. son is, he is really battling to make this trip. It hasn't really affected him yet because mm. I haven't been working. I mean, I'm only working in the mornings at the moment while he's at school. So it's, but it is, it's change, you know, change is hard. I don't do well with change. Mm. And I mean, husband. So I think my 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 son unfortunately takes it off of me. The anxiety, the worry around change. Whereas my daughter's very similar to my husband. Like mm. she just goes with the flow, you know. So it is. It's a new dynamic for us to navigate. It is. Right. But for six months, for six months of the year, I'm going to be working half day, and the other six months of the year, I'm going to be. And I think for me, it's important, like again, to gain that independence again. You know. Like to have my own income, to have also yeah. something to, to think about besides just my kids, my mom and my sister, like in the whole extended family, like to have something that's yeah. just for me. And to have yeah. adults, adults to talk to for a large portion well, of the day. Well, it's that's where I've been thing. very lucky. No, yeah. But I've been very lucky with my circle of friends that I've developed yeah. out here. And I mean, we have a monthly book club with the morning mm -hmm. swims and stuff. So I've had that, but it is nice to have somewhere to go out of home that I'm not like yeah. mopping floors and cleaning toilets all day, you know, because that tends to, I've, I have noticed though that mm. with starting working, I can keep the house clean within half an hour. Whereas when I wasn't working, it was taking me the whole day. Yeah. yeah. So I mean, so before, the before the kids and the marriage, I mean, you came from quite a big sort of corporate position with your, your previous company with the fundraising and, you know, it was quite intense. Well, yeah, that's the thing. I mean, even when James and I first got together, I mean, mm. I was like married to my job, you know. Even when yeah. I went on maternity with my son, I was I was going back to my job. I'd been there for 10 years. Yeah. I loved it, you know, but I was working 18 hours a day, seven days a week. I was traveling all over the country. So, again, I mean, that was, you know, it was just a season, a chapter, you know, it was a chapter yeah. in my story. Like, in my mind, before I had Jack, I was going back to that. And like, in hindsight, I'm like, there's no ways I could have done that, you know? There's no what ways I could yeah. have, like, just left my child and gone traveling, you know? Mm. I mean, I loved it. I mean, I still love the work that they do. And, I mean, even when I moved down here, I was doing a bit of consulting work for another NGO, mm -hmm. also mm -hmm. around community development and food security. But it wasn't the same. It's not the same as being part of a team. And I think that's a big element for me now, going back to work. Okay. He's been part of a team again, you, you know, and at, uh, in Joburg, I was part of a big team. I was part of something special, you know, and I think mm -hmm. this job also for me is going to be, 
being part of a team again, you know, and with friends, it's different with family, it's different, you know, but with work, it's, and I'm hoping it's going to be for me. I mean, I mean, Hermanus, it's well related. So yeah, <laughs> like, absolutely. we'll see. Yes. I'm loving yeah. it so far. So, awesome. but yeah, it is. I mean, I think like, like you said, it was life. With, it's, it's got its ebbs and flows. It's got its seasons. It's mm. got its chapters. And this is a new chapter for me and my family. It's going to be difficult to navigate. Especially if I want to try and get my swims in. I'm trying to work out when I'm going to do that. <laughs> and my training, the, the, my early yeah. morning training. Well, the training, we can always shift that to 5.30. That's not a problem. Uh, that's not a problem. <laughs> that's the challenge of being in the Cape, eh, where it's getting uh, light at uh, yeah. 8 o'clock, you know. It's, it's different. Dark. Yeah, I mean, we finish our morning sessions, and I mean, the sunrise sessions, the sun is nowhere near rising yet. <laughs> yeah, yeah, absolutely sure. But I think, that, you yeah. know, that's such a big thing for, I mean, for parents and, and also, I mean, particularly, I think for moms where you're coming from a career, um, you know, you built up a career, you put a large portion of yourself into building that career. And then suddenly, you know, you're stuck, as you said, clean, mopping the floor and cleaning toilets, you know, and, and not to say that, that that's a role that's any less valuable at all, yeah. but it, 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 in terms of just, keep, you know, keeping yourself optimal and stimulated. And then I think what the value of work and the, uh, the value of the career is it occupies your thoughts so much that, you know, yeah. particularly for in recovery, like our minds are racing all the time, right? You know, yeah. Yeah, we, we, it's like we, we're not on crack, but our brains are, you know, because they're <laughs> like 800,000 thoughts at one time. And that can so easily lead to negative self thoughts, anxiety, yeah. panic, stressing about 800,000 things that haven't happened that don't and exist. probably won't. <laughs> yeah. What about a tidal wave or the sea disappear? You know, you're absolutely, absolutely crazy things. So it is, it's yeah. very, very cool. And I think I can see within you and that's why I, I love the opportunity to have the chat. And I want to chat to you about that, uh, that swim and now what the yeah. swimming is, but it, it's the changing and now the doing for you is, is yeah. such an important step for people to take in terms of their quality of life. And when we have a better quality of life, we are better quality in the life that we present to others. So, you know, when we're looking after ourselves, as you said, then we can yeah. look after everyone else. Shay, do you want to turn around? Is it easier for you? I mean, we've seen the beautiful- I don't know, Nick, the sun's like everywhere gorgeous. now. Okay, so <laughs> is it straight overhead? It. Yeah, I mean, it just, it, it's so, so mean. Now, I mean, I mean look at this, look at this. Can you see me? Yeah, perfect, 100%, fantastic. I mean, hello, yeah, what, what a location. This is the greatest podcast location we have we have ever recorded in you you win you win it's like I win. If, if, if you, exactly yeah you know, if you were going to chat to a mom or to a dad or just to anyone about what is it that that's debating oh geez i'm not looking after myself my nutrition my sleep my lifestyle my hydration all of these points you know, we always talk about getting people to be optimal through sleep, hormone management, which is stress management, hydration, nutrition, yeah. exercise. You know, what what is it meant to you in terms of who you are at the moment versus a couple of months ago? Um. Well, Nick, I mean, like, I think a big thing you said there is that mind racing. And I think what happened to me over the last couple of years is, mm. sorry, I've not. I'm falling off the rock here. <laughs> is I did. I got stuck in my own head. I got yeah. so stuck in my own head. And that's where the self-doubt, the negativity, mm. the, you know, my life's falling apart. It's, I'm never going to amount. And you do, you get stuck in this vicious cycle. And getting out of it is not easy. Especially yeah. when you're a mom and you're dealing with, I mean, my children, are, I love them dearly, <laughs> but they are nightmares at the best of time. Your you know? daughter is, yo, she, she's, yeah, she's fast, hey? Over a wall, under a wall, through eight tables. When we went for coffee, we were like, wow. I know, she doesn't stop. Huh? You know, and the thing yeah. is, for me, like learning to deal with my emotions mm. and at the same time trying to teach them to deal with big emotions, it's not easy to navigate, you know, it's yeah. really not. And I think, like, as I said, I can't pinpoint one thing, but it is, it's starting small, you know, it's starting like 
what are the small things I can do today? And a big thing for me was waking up earlier because otherwise mm. we like, we all wake up at seven o'clock and we all go flying out the door and we can't find shoes and we stress. And yeah. you're starting the day off on a bad note, you know? Not only for me, for the kids, they get to school and they're stressed and they, I, and so for me, that shift of just getting up, even in the mornings, I'm not training. Um, yeah. Just making that shift of an earlier start. And it's, it's hard in the beginning, like especially, especially Cape Town winter probably not the best time to start it yeah but it's making this small change a big thing for me is also around my eating mm-hmm. is like again like i'll just live off chocolate it's given half the time chocolate and cheesecake nick <laughs> chocolate cheesecake and oh yeah and coffee there you go <laughs> don't get me wrong i still do all that as well but it's bringing yeah. in an element of a lot more whole foods some more foods a lot more vegetables um multivitamins has been a big shift for me as well mm-hmm. daily supplements you know and it, it hasn't happened overnight it has it's been a three-year process it's been a it is really only in the last month or two that i can say oh i actually feel like i'm moving forward mm-hmm. i'm feeling healthy i'm feeling stronger i'm feeling like okay wow i can actually do this now you know and i know that's mm-hmm. stuck in the rut like i got to say i was as i say i was having panic attacks every night i was like how am i ever going to snap out of this how am I ever going to move forward and be there for my husband, be there for my kids, be there for my mom and my, my extended family, you know? How am I going to do this? Right. And it was literally just, you know, baby steps, mm. you know, watching mm. what I was eating. Like, as I said, yeah, chocolate still features quite a bit, but it is, and I feel terrible half the time when I eat it because I don't just eat a block or two. But it is what? just looking What's at what are the two? small changes that, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> What's a block or two? Slabs. <laughs> Slabs. But it's like, yeah. what are the small changes? Even like walking mm. more, you know? Yeah. I mean, that's one thing we definitely need to do. We need to get our dogs out and about. They're mm-hmm. digging up my garden. But it is also because emotionally, that like for me, that's been the biggest thing, also getting fitter, is I feel a lot more emotionally more stable, you know? Like, yeah. I, like I still fly off the handle at the best of times, but it's, it's just grounding. I go back, I go back mm-hmm. to my oils again. I have my daily routine with my oils, what I use in the morning and night to help mm-hmm. me to calm my nerves. And so it's been a whole lot of elements that, and that I started three years ago. I started learning about the oils, introducing them slowly. And it's got mm-hmm. to a point now where it's part of my daily routine, you know? And right. it's also a big thing for me is eating mindfully. Yes. And I think that's what the, fa- that's what the fast brought to me is like, Nine times out of ten, I'm eating the kids' leftovers. So I'm standing at the kitchen counter eating. Mm-hmm. I'm not actually sitting down and enjoying my food. And I think that's been a big shift as well, is preparing the food, sitting down, enjoying it, you know? Yes, yeah, and 100%. And before, I was just like, well, whatever I passed, I would just shuffle it into my mouth, you know? Like, yeah. not even consciously thinking about it, you know? So now that's, and I, I mean, think that, that's, such, that's such a big thing for, for moms in particular is, is yeah. living on leftovers. You know, yeah. the, kid, the kid eats half a toasted cheese and chips because that's what they want. It's not what you would have yeah. ordered, you know, but then, then yeah. you end up eating the toasted cheese and, and, and chips. Uh, so, in addition yeah. to your own food that you ordered, so you order in your own meal, but you don't want to waste, you, so you eat the kids' yeah. leftovers. In addition well, to yeah. the salad you ordered, <laughs> in addition to the salad you ordered to be healthy, so yeah. you eat your yeah. salad, and then also exactly. they have half of salad. their chocolate milkshake. So you also have the milkshake because you don't want that to go to waste because you don't want to teach exactly. them to waste. You know, yeah, <laughs> big thing, huh? <laughs> no, it is. So it is. It's a whole lot of things, and I think mm. I think it's doing everything more mindfully and i think that's what the training that's what the swimming i mean for the swimming also because it's getting there and you can just like switch off that said when i did my race last sunday like i couldn't i (laughs) almost pulled out (laughs) like i was like i couldn't get i couldn't get my head into it i was like what am i doing and all i kept hearing was just keep swimming 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 i was like oh my god I love it. I love it. So, so just, I, I want to get on to the swim now, but I just want to finish off on, on that last point. Yeah. So what, what I'm hearing you saying, it's more than, you know, I think a lot of people are going, okay, as soon as I can get my head right, then I'll yeah. eat properly. Yeah. I'll sleep properly. Yeah. I'll hydrate. I'll do exercise. As soon as I can just get my head right, then I'll, but it's actually the yeah. other way around. It's like, okay, the other way. my That's head's a disaster. 
Oh, yeah, my, yeah. I'm a, I, yeah. I got, but I got to exercise a little bit. I got to walk. I got to eat the. So yeah. it's the other way around that actually starts the process of getting the head right. Yeah. Without a doubt, and I think that's what my initial. That's what my problem was. Is for ages, I was yeah. like, as soon as I can get in the right headspace, as soon yes. as I can, you know, feel yeah, better yeah. inside my head, then yeah, I, yeah. then I'll start doing all these things. And you, you're exactly right. It's the other way around. You've got okay. to start making the small changes. Yes. And then your head will feel better. <laughs> you know, St Stephen Covey said, begin, begin with the end in mind. That's one of the seven habits. Yeah. I think what we should actually is just yeah. begin, begin at the end. You know, <laughs> so everything that you want to be doing to get your head right, um, you, you, everything you want to do that will get, you know, you can do when your head's right, you'll do. So exactly. All right. So now, so maybe that's a piece of advice for the people listening or watching this is just start and the head start will eventually yeah. come right on, on its own. Yeah. So, right. So now listen, I don't think, you know, like us, I'm very fortunate to have Kiki marks on the show and Kiki's swum the um, English channel. And is she, I think she had one or two attempts where she didn't make it. And she swum Robin Island multiple times and she's climbed Kilimanjaro and all of these crazy things, which I can see you starting all of this. This is how it begins. You know, it starts with a road race, you know, all of these little, I'll do a 5k and then, all right. So, but now two and a half kilometers in the ocean is substantial, you know, like, and your tidal pool is, is not an Olympic pool, right? It's there behind you. No. <laughs> yeah, it's not at all. And I think so that was when, my biggest mistake. Yeah. 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 Sorry. Okay, so yeah, no. I was going to, so what got you into the water and what kept you in the water? Oh, well, I don't know. Next time I'll definitely allow myself more time training in something a bit bigger than the Marine pool. Mm. I mean, I only got a couple of swims up in the dam also because I decided and then I started working. So juggling everything yeah. and, and also swimming in a dam and swimming in the sea. Yeah. Not the same thing. Nope. <laughs> and also on the day of the race, because the, the swell was so high. <laughs> They changed, yeah. oh, well, they changed the route because yeah. we were supposed to swim from the new harbor to the old harbor. Mm. So every morning for the months leading up to it, I stood outside my office, which is at the new harbor, and I looked at the rock at the old harbor. So I had mentally, I mentally prepared myself. That was my route I was going. I was swimming in a yeah. straight yeah. line to the rock. And on the morning of, they changed it. So we ended up doing two big loops in the new harbor. And... Oh, I don't know. Lots of lessons learned. I'd never swum with earplugs. I was like, oh, I keep getting water in my ear. Let me put them in. And mm. I don't like, I got in the water, jumped in with a very good friend of mine, Nick. And his wife was fantastic in getting me ready. I borrowed her watch on the day. As I said, I borrowed a wetsuit from my friend Stu. And it was just like, I jumped in and I started, I was like, oh my goodness, what am I doing here? You know? And I started swimming and I couldn't get into a rhythm. I just couldn't mm, get my freestyle mm. going. And I was like, so I stopped. So I ended up doing a lot of breaststroke, a lot of backstroke and completely mm. swimming skew. I almost swam into the rocks at one stage, the boat came flying up. I was like, I'm just yeah. going to try and switch off. But my mm. head was all over. The also, the swell was crazy. So I was like swimming and then mm. I could see. And then all of a sudden it was like a wall of water, you know? Yeah. And I got around the end of the, the first loop and James said he looked at me and he was like he thought I was going to get out and I was like yeah. you know what I've come this far I did have I was by no means I wasn't stone last but I was pretty near the end <laughs> so I had all the guys on the kayaks coming are you sure you don't want to get out I was like just bugger off and leave me alone I'm going to be <laughs> so I probably looked like I was drowning actually there are videos I did look like I was drowning <laughs> half of the time <laughs> You, know, you have to, um, you have to share know. a few and then we'll put them in here in the edits, okay? Oh, hell no. <laughs> hell no. <laughs> Maybe when I saw the next year, I'll share those videos with you. Okay, me. okay, but cool. But I don't know, I got around the first and I mean, Jack and James, they were all standing on the pier there and the last stretch back, I don't know how many, how many hundred meters mm. it was, I actually seemed, and at that stage, I was like, no, I can't do this. And they were screaming on the pier and I hooked up with the, uh, there were three other girls also and they were like, swim stop swim stop and the mm -hmm. one girl actually shouted to her mate to the pier they were she was like make sure you've got beers and james thought it was me <laughs> <laughs> yeah so i was like no that's not me i wasn't that bad 
Right. But yeah, I mean, I don't know how many swimmers started. I think I, uh, of 80, 90 odd, I came like 70 something, you know? So okay. it wasn't, for me, it was more the achievement than the next year. The I can tell you, I'm going to be a lot better prepared. And I'm starting training now for next year. So I've got a bit more mm, than 33 mm. days to get ready. But I think for me, nothing. It, and I, were, I was, I'll be honest with you, I was yeah. hoping been working at the new harbor that i was going to get a couple of swims in in the new harbor before the race mm -hmm. but because yeah it just didn't happen so <laughs> or at least in the sea i was hoping for a couple of sea swims you know and yeah it just yeah it just didn't happen in that time so swimming in the sea and swimming in the marine corps even at night time like this it's it's not the same yeah you know no, and it's definitely just not. it's an experience i will definitely do it again right. um I think hopefully this, hopefully in a year's time we'll be chatting and I'll have done a couple of swims, you know. Um, I, I, I like think a, in a year's time you'll be talking about your Robin Island swim. <laughs> I'm already, I've already started talking about that, Nick. You know the addict in me. I'm like, next stop, Robin Island. <laughs> That's a bit far. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we'll yeah, yeah, no. We'll hey? keep it shorter for now. <laughs> okay, cool. Yeah, listen, this is how it starts. Uh, <laughs> no, but it, it was an incredible experience. And I mean, I couldn't have done it with like without my family mm. and friends. And like I have I had everyone behind me. I had like people that are like I'm just like acquaintances with came with came mm. on the day mm. to support me, you know. I had all my mates with the kids came along, you know, and it was just so special seeing that level of I think that actually to be honest, that's what got me through to the end. I was yeah. like, I have to just do this now. You can't you, know? you can't get out with everyone who came to support you, huh? No. And I mean, that said, like, I wasn't stiff or anything afterwards. I was like, this is mm -hmm. weird. I expected to be like, so for days, you know, but I did. I got, went home straight afterwards and a nice long hot soak Ooh, in the bath, you know, yep. and it was, and that was the one thing I was really prepared for, even though I swam in a suit, was the cold water and the water wasn't even that cold on the day. Cold. Okay. It sure. was like 16, 17. So that was the one thing because I'd had 18 months of the cold water. I was like, okay, if the water's cold today, I'll be fine. And it wasn't mm. even cold. So, so yeah, think, yeah, no, yeah, I'm yeah. glad I did it. Hey, it's flipping yeah. phenomenal. I mean, it's something that you did for you, right? Yeah, that's the thing. At the end of the day, like I said, it's for everyone there. But I did it because I was like, I've set this goal. I'm going to mm. do it. I'm doing it for me, you know? And how did it feel did. doing, how did that feel doing that for you? Amazing. They're like, this one picture of me crying when I got out of sports. <laughs> you know, it was like I'd set myself the goal and I was like, I'm going to do this. I'm doing this for me, you know, and to have had the support and everything around me was mm -hmm. incredible. But I think it's a very long time that I've set myself a personal goal just for me. Yeah. You know, it's a very long, like, I'm doing this, like, I'm setting this goal and I'm doing it. Nobody else is going to benefit. Well, I mean, I suppose mm -hmm. there's the roll on effects of my not so erratic moves and everything else but the actual swim on the day was yeah. for me it was nobody else got anything out of it you know like that's awesome. it was for me at the end yeah. of the day you know i think if, if you're going to chat to to other moms or to other parents um about doing something because it, it's something that i try to talk about quite a bit you know just do something this weekend for yourself do something today for yeah. something small something what what's the value of that for you? What, what did that remind you of? What did it make you think? What did you, it make you feel um, doing something for you? Yeah, I think for me, Nick, is that I am important, you know? I mm. am, you know, and for like at the end of the day, like I said before, is if I'm not the best me it can be for me, I can't be it for anyone else. And I yeah. think I lost sight of that, you know? If I'm not improving myself and bettering myself for me you know it's all very well to say i'm doing it for whoever or whatever and mm. even with cleaning up you know you do it for the people around you but at the end of the day you're only going to get it right when you're doing it for you yep you know you're <laughs> only going to get clean when you're doing it for yourself yeah. like i've seen you've spoken to so many friends and they're like oh i'm doing it for my son or my daughter or my wife or whatever they very often don't stay clean for very long mm. You know, yep. yep. Because at the end of the day, if you if you're not doing it for you, it's all very well to have a long list of people you're doing it for. But at the end of the day, until you can value yourself yeah. and recognize that doing whatever it is you're doing it for yourself first and foremost, it makes it that much harder. And I think that's what for me. 
I was just talking through it now is why I did this. It was like, I, I'm doing something for me, you know? Mm-hmm. Uh, I mean, I, I do things for my family as a unit or whatever it is for everybody's benefits from it. But it's a long time when I've gone, actually, you know, I'm doing this for me. I mean, as you can see, I don't even do my hair. And stuff, so like that's like self-care 101. That yeah. has been a bit windy down here today as well. Yeah. You know, but it's just... No, no, you're looking little, perfectly even if it personal. Is, mm. No, but even if it is that sitting down and having a meal by yourself, yeah. for yourself, or with your family, but actually sitting down and eating intentionally, you know, it's mm. doing stuff for yourself, you know, and it is hard as a mom because you don't, you are, you're putting your kids first, you know, but at the end of the day, it's only sustainable for how long? Before yeah. burnout, you yeah. know? Because you can't, you can't, what does this, uh, can't pull, pull from an empty cup, eh? Yeah, absolutely. And I, and I think it is. I have been just focused on, oh, not that there's lots of negative, but like losing sight of the positive aspect of everything. You know, I mean, God bless the man. Like, <laughs> seriously. You know? I often just, mm. yeah, I'll often come down here to sit here and I've also been doing uh, yoga here once a week, which I'm sad to say goodbye to for the next couple of months while I work. Mm-hmm. But yeah, just, and that for me, that was another thing. And I, I don't know why I haven't mentioned it before was, Making that time for me in the mornings, once yes. a week with swim every day, but then that extra added time with yoga because that also just calms the mind, you know. And mm, it's not mm. easy finding time. Like busy lives. I mean, I'm very blessed that my husband's not in a corporate job and gone. I mean, he did when he was in a job for a while down here in landscaping where he left at probably five in the morning. We didn't see him at seven till seven o'clock at night, you know. Mm, so, and mm. I understand there are people who both mother and father work from you know drop kids at school and they work till five six o'clock at night and then it makes it even more challenging to yeah. find that time but even if it starts 10 15 minutes a day and i think that's also a big thing it's like oh, where am i going to find the time to do this it's amazing when you start looking for the time that you find it like, like i said yeah. cleaning the house it's yeah. amazing when you've got other things to do how quickly it happens you know so it's like don't find the time make the time make the time yeah make the time you, you know these are my five it, it's so you talk about the meditation and the yoga the majority of high performing people be they in business in sports politics whatever uh you know they meditate they take a little bit of time every morning to focus the day where you spoke about getting up early and not rushing and stressing your kids yeah. you know the, that extra hour to get up is more valuable than the extra sleep and when you need the extra yeah. sleep you start going to bed earlier and then the bedtime exactly. becomes more manageable and then that that starting you know your day runs the way it starts yeah without so, a doubt yeah you know, that's absolutely awesome. So I think, you know, any any sort of words um, to the people listening, any sort of final advice just before we wrap up, uh, just to, 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 because I don't want to, we don't want to cut into your swimming time. It just wouldn't be fair. <laughs> yeah, it's getting very high now. I don't know if I'll jump in here or head down to the beach, but yeah, I'll yeah, probably jump yeah. in here. Nick, thank you so much. I mean, you've been mm. a very, you've been an integral part of my journey from the get-go, you know, and it's been so special to have you at in this chapter, in this season mm. of my life as such a driving force behind it as well, you know? And I don't have the words to thank you. Like you oh, kept dude. my butt into no. care the last couple of months. How, oh, how, are, how are you living how you no. How are you living your <laughs> life is more than more thanks than I could ever hope for. Yeah. Thank you, Nick. Yeah. But it is. It's Oh, Joe, hello. It's, it's fine. I, I have my really good days. I have my really bad days, you know, and I think that that's life, you know, but it is mm. it's acknowledging that and it's focusing on, on at, at the end of the day, it's gratitude, you know, being yeah. grateful, you know, I'm so, incredibly so grateful. And I did, I, over the last three years, I lost sight of that, Nick, you know, mm. Mm. I'm grateful to be alive. Like I'm lucky to be alive after my, my um, yeah, <laughs> my using days. And I mean, I think I do, I, I because I think, Having, as you say, so much time mm. behind me, not that I forget it, you know, I mean, I still have nightmares about those days every now and again, as I'm sure a lot of people do, but it's how far I've come and how much yeah. I can go if I just, you know, realign things, if I can say yeah. that, you know, and 100%. It's, it's a process. 
it's a process. It's not something that's going to happen overnight. And I'm sure there's going to be a lot more obstacles in my path, you know, and it's navigating those and just yeah. being, you know, and being the best I can be, you know, like, I mean, I do, I doubt myself on a daily basis, especially when it comes to being wife and mother and daughter and whatever it is, you know, I'm like, I constantly feel like I'm making mistakes. And I think that's also a big shift for me as being like, okay, you know what? I am going to screw up, mm. but you know what? I, as long as I'm growing in the process, yep, as long absolutely. as I'm not going, oh, well, I screwed up. Let's just forget about it. Yeah, It's all part <laughs> of my process. You know, and I think that's the big thing. You know I me, mean? I want things to happen now, you know, like it must happen immediately, like that instant gratification. Really? <laughs> and I think that's, that's been a big part of my process the last three years is like, you got to put in the work. You got to put in the work, you know, whether yeah, it's, it. you know, it doesn't have to be exhausting, draining, but it's putting in the daily ground, you know, and it's, yeah. it's, it's hard, especially initially, but once, and I'm finding, I mean, I don't, don't, don't get me wrong, I still have mornings, I'm like, oh my gosh, I have to get out of bed. But it's just making those changes. So, yeah, yeah I don't know. Hopefully, hopefully somebody listening can take something out of this. But yeah, it's, you know, it's, it's, just, it's a journey. You know, 100%. And, and, and what I'm hearing you saying so much is, you know, it's like the, 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 the difficulty of the first swim, getting in that cold yeah. water for the first time and sticking yeah. with it and doing yeah. made you strong. So that pain yeah. that you thought you didn't have the strength to deal with, you did yeah. and you dealt yeah. with it that that strength developed into you swimming in the harbor going well it's not actually that cold so you know yeah, the pain turned into pleasure nick so <laughs> absolutely <Yeah>. absolutely <laughs> oh joe that's awesome hey, listen we're very proud of you you rocked it i mean look at this location yo i need to come down Thanks. and visit it's absolutely epic yes. which we Long will do you. soon I oh, know. Boy, really tell me about it. I, I nearly came down this weekend to come and surprise you and go, we'll record it on the beach. <laughs> but the, with the weather, I looked at it and thought, no, I'm not flying in that. So that's my anxiety, you know. <laughs> oh, what, this weekend? No, the weather's yeah. been great. Uh, I thought it was like a little bit windy. No, no, but here, Joburg's been windy. We rainy. Oh. And, so it's, it's not good. And there it looks a little bit windy. And uh, Okay. <laughs> that's lovely. Nick, but thank do, you so much okay. for your time. I really appreciate it. And thank you again okay. for everything. Only a Take pleasure. Care. Bye. Bye. Bye.